Hey guys, this is Claudia here from QuickBooks Experts. Uh, experts spell as X P E R T S dot com. So I'm sorry, QuickBooks dash experts dot com. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and address a, f a few items on how to set up attorney uh, Quick on uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, how to set up their trust account and how to record the retainer, which is money that you have not earned yet. So my name is Claudia. And I have over 20 years of experience as a bookkeeper and I am a pro advisor certified agent. So how do you do that, Claudia? How do you set up those uh, unearned income? So we're going to get started by going to QuickBooks Online. Now I already had a few things recorded in here so we're gonna go ahead and delete that okay okay this is just a trial account so things that look a little different and I'm actually gonna go and delete a couple of items that I have my chart of accounts that I already recorded okay Restaurant. Okay, I'm gonna delete a prior payment. And I don't want to confuse you, so that's why I'm doing that. Okay, one more last thing that I need to delete is this transaction. Okay, so I, I want my accounts all zeroed out, except this cash. We're not going to touch this. Okay. All right, so here we start. First thing you want to do is set up your product and service. So usually products and service would be under customer here. But once again, this is not, this is just a trial version, so it doesn't have all the items. So we're going we're gonna to go to the gear menu and we're going to go to product list and then products and service and i'm going to create the retainer i already have it here so i'm going to show you how to do it you're going to create a new account it's going to be a non-inventory we're going to call it retainer which means that this is money that i have not earned as client just paid so that they can retain me but i have not earned that income and this is not a sales because it's not it's not going to be recorded as a sale until I provide the service. For me, this is going to be a trust account liability. That's the one we created before. Um, so go ahead and save and close. So I'm sorry, this says not right because I already have that. <laughs> and then I'm going to also create my attorney fees account. An attorney fees, yes. Where the attorney fees, once again, it's already here, but I'm going to show you how to create that for you. It's a service account I call attorney fees. Okay, now this is going to be a sales account, and then you you click on save and close. So, but I already save it, so we're not going to create it again. Now we're going to create the bank account where we're going to where I'm going to put the money in. Okay, all this chart of accounts. And we're gonna click click on new bank of account. I'm sorry, bank account, trust account, and save and close. The next thing I need to do is just to create the liability. So new other current liability. We're gonna go to trust. And save and close. I already did all that, so I don't want to do it all over again. But now I have a client. His name is David, and he uh, decided to hire my services. How can I record that? Now, keep in mind, I have not provided the service yet, but I do require a $5,000 retain, retainer for, him, for me to represent him. 
he agrees with that. So next thing I'm going to do is to create an invoice. Once again, there are several ways to get there. But um, I'm going to create an invoice for David. I have him here already. Now, if you don't, go ahead and click on new, add new, and then you put his name and save. Make sure it's saved because the name of the client here is going to be key to record this properly. Okay, now this is just um, uh, just a retainer. That means I have not earned the money. That's just retaining money. Okay, gonna save, save and send to the client. Let's save and close for me. And then he he paid this uh, right away. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna go to that invoice. And we're going to receive payment. Okay. Now, I want it to go to the trust account. So if it is elsewhere, you want to make sure that you, you change that to the trust account. For attorneys, it is a requirement to deposit that money into the trust account when you receive it. Because you have not earned that money yet. Okay, and it doesn't matter on the payment method. Just make sure that you put trust account. Uh, so you're paying towards that invoice. Save and close, and that recorded the money into the trust account and also recorded that he paid that money. Okay, now I have a liability, so if you if you want to take a look at the all list chart of accounts, you see that I have five thousand dollars in the trust account, and I have five thousand dollars to the on the liability account. I want those two to match. This all, always have to be the same. It's very important. Okay, now at the end of the month, we provide a service and David will be um, invoiced for $1,000. So we, we are gonna go ahead, we can record a sales receipt and apply that $1,000 towards that sales receipt. So we're gonna do David Smith, once again, very important put his name the product is going to be attorney fees and it's going to be for a thousand dollars but remember David already has money with us he has five thousand dollars with us so what we, we're going to do this time is on the second line I'm going to select retainer and I'm going to apply a negative one thousand dollars and by doing that what i'm doing is taking money out of the retaining retainer account and applying towards this attorney fees which is an income account so i'm recording this sale right now and at the same time taking money at the uh, taking money from the liability account okay so i recorded that and uh now i have four thousand dollars on the liability account but I still have 5,000, I'm sorry, 4,000 in the liability account. But I still have 5,000 on the trust account, bank account. I have to record that now I'm going to take money out of the trust account and put on that money to checking. Okay, because uh, once I earn the money, I can take out of the trust account and I want to put it into checking. How do I do that? I can record a transfer. Okay, I'm going to take money out of the trust account and apply that money towards my operating checking account. The amount is $1,000. And this date is very important. I want to make sure that I record on the exact date that I deposit on the bank. Save and close. Okay, now my trust account will match my liability account. <clears throat> And I do have my sales income account. If I run report, this has been recorded as $1,000 earned. And I still have a $4,000 liability, which the customer will, will, will see it over time. If you want to see that on the balance sheet, you can go ahead and go to reports. On the profit and loss, it's going to show my income for $1,000. Please ignore everything else. This is just cash transaction from a previous video <laughs> and if I go to your balance sheet okay please ignore those two I see the trust account as four thousand dollars and 
I go to my liabilities four thousand dollars. So those two match match, and that's exactly what I want. All right. So if you like this video, please like it on the bottom. And if you'd like to see more of those, subscribe to our channel. We are going to be recording those quite often, and I would lo love to have you uh, subscribe to our channel so we can do more of those. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to write down on the bottom. Um, and if you'd like a certain subject to be touched, or if you'd like us to touch on a certain subject, Go ahead and write down the bottom as well. And we're going to make that a priority. I would like to see you next time. And until then, I'll see you later.